Hi, fifth grade. This is Mrs. Skielka with your flipped math lesson for today, 7-4. Today's objective is I can find quotients where the dividend and or the quotient is a decimal. So today our answers are might have decimals and the dividend, the number that we're dividing, might have a decimal as well. And in addition to that, we're going to be using the regular algorithm, which means we're going to be using long division to find our answers. Okay, here's our example problem. Three friends receive two dollars and fifty-eight cents for recycling aluminum cans. If they share the money equally, how much will each friend get? So the problem is asking me um, if they had um, this money, $2.58, and they're going to share the money equal, equally. How much is each friend going to get? So um, what? how much would one friend get? Okay, if there were three of them and they're sharing it equally, how much should one friend get? And I know that to find that answer, I'm going to have to use division. And um, the important information I have is that there are three friends and that they are dividing 258 cents between them. So if I were going to write that as a, um, an equation, it would look like this, $2.58 divided by 3 equals, and that's what I'm going to try to find out. Now before I start um, doing the division, I'm going to go ahead and estimate. Okay, This is important that I estimate my answer first. Okay, So I'm going to change that $2.58 to um, a compatible number, and I'm going to go ahead and round it up to $3. And I'm going to keep the other 3 the same. And if I had $3 divided by 3 people, then I know each person would get $1. Now since I rounded $2.58 up to a higher number, and I got 1, I know that the actual answer is going to be less than 1. Okay, It's going to be smaller than 1, so it's going to start with a decimal point. Okay, Let's do the actual algorithm. So $2.58 divided by 3. Now, we've talked about this before. Um, some people were worried you can't divide a, a smaller number by a bigger number. Well, actually, you can. It's possible. And today, you're going to find out how. So let's start by looking at the decimal point in the $2.58. The first step that we take before we do any division is we're going to put the decimal point and our answer directly above the decimal point that's in the dividend. Okay, You just put it directly above. That's the very first thing you do. It's very important that you do that first. Then we're going to start dividing, just like we would divide if that decimal point wasn't there. You can ignore the decimal point that's in the uh, dividend for right now, okay? because we already put it up here in the answer in the quotient. And then we just start dividing, just like we, we have before. So we look at the first digit in the dividend, 2. Can 2 be divided by 3? No, it can't. It's too small. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and put a 0 up there. Okay, there's nothing there. I'm not dividing it. I'm just going to go to the next digit. Okay, so now I, instead of just 2, I'm looking at 25. 25 can be divided by 3. In fact, I know my threes, my multiple of threes, I know that 3 times 8 is 24, which is very close to 25. So then I subtract. 25 minus 24 is 1, and I bring down the next digit is 8. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18, and I have a remainder of 0. Okay, So my answer is 0.86 and or 0 0.86 which is the same thing and I don't want to forget my dollar sign so each person gets 86 cents I can double check it to make sure that I'm right so I'm gonna take 0 0.86 and multiply it times 3 and see if I get the same number that's in the, div uh, the dividend 3 times 6 is 18 carry the 1 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25, 
carry the 2, 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. Then I count how many decimal points there are. There are two digits behind the decimal point, I mean. And so I'm going to put it... Whoa. Whoops. Um, so I'm going to put my decimal point two places over, and I put right there, $2.58. Okay, so my answer, um, my quotient of 86 cents must be correct. Okay. Now, here's something else we're going to look at. How can you write a decimal quotient when you're dividing whole numbers? Okay. So our quotient is going to have a decimal in it, but with our problem here, um, we don't have a decimal yet but we're going to we're going to end up with a decimal. And actually, this is the beginning of the end of the remainder. So what I mean by that is that um, from now on, I'm going to ex be expecting you to not have remainders in your answers because I'm going to show you how that remainder um, is no longer necessary. Okay, this is the fifth grade way of doing division and remainders are all fourth grade way. Okay? So this is this is the big fifth grade way. So get ready. Here we go. So we have um, our first digit is 1. 1 can't be divided by 8, so we go look at the next digit. Now we have 18 divided by 8. Okay, So 8 times 2 is 16. 18 minus 16 is 2. Bring down the 0, we get 20. 8 times uh, 2 is 16, that's the closest we're going to get again to 20 and 20 minus 16 is 4. Now this is the point where you would usually put a remainder 4, right? Well, we're not going to do that. Okay. What we're going to do is, if we get here and um, the number is not 0 yet, so we're not done, instead of writing a remainder, where you would usually write that R, you're going to write a decimal point. Okay. So instead of an R for remainder, you're going to put that decimal point. I'm going to have to move my um, equation up there. There we go. Okay, so no remainder, just a decimal point. Now, I'm going to put a decimal point. I could put one here too, okay, because they go right above each other. Okay, I can put one in my answer net or my uh, dividend. And now I know that behind that decimal point, there really is a zero. Okay, there's always a zero there. Now I have a zero to bring down. Okay, so I'm going to bring that zero down. And now instead of just four, I have 40. Let me erase that four with the circle around it that's hard to see. Okay, so I had 20 minus 16 is four. I'm going to bring down the next zero, and now I have 40. 40 divided by eight is five. 5 times 8 is 40. I subtract, and now I've gotten to 0. Once I get to 0, I don't have to bring down any more zeros. Okay, I'm all done. My answer is 22.5. I can multiply that back up. 22.5 times 8. Remember, the numbers that you multiply on the outside equal the number on the inside. So 8 times 5 is 40. Carry the 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20, carry the 2, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18, I have one digit after a decimal point, so I'm going to move the decimal point one place, and my answer is 180.0, which is the same as 180, which is the div dividend that I started with. Okay, so if, this isn't too hard if you just remember that um, instead of writing an R for a remainder, you're going to put a decimal point. Okay, let's practice them. Number one, we have 15.4 divided by 15. Remember the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our decimal point up here. Okay, now before we do some division, let's think about um, an estimation. Okay, so I've got... 15, I've got 144. You know what? 144 is not full, it's pretty close to 150. 150 divided by 15, well, that looks an awful lot like um, 10 times 15, right? 10 times 15 would be 150. 
So my answer is probably going to be close to, to 10. I know it's not going to be, or um, behind that decimal point, it's probably going to be close to 10. I know it's not going to be 10 because that would be 150. So it's probably the next digit next to 10, which would be 9. Okay, so let's give 9 a try. So we've got 9 times 15. So over here I'm going to use my space to do some multiplication. 9 times 5 is 45. Carry the 4. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13. So I get 135. And I'm going to subtract. I can't subtract 5 from 4, so I'm going to borrow. I get 13, my, or I'm sorry, 14 minus 5 is 9. Okay. Um, and then, remember what happens, there's, there's really a zero there, right? I'm not going to write a remainder anymore. I'm going to write down a zero and, and bring it down. Okay. So now I have 90 divided by 15. Well, I happen to know that, that 90 is a multiple of 15, so it might just take me a minute to figure it out, but I know 15 plus 15 is 30. So um, 15 times times 2 is 30, so that means 15 times 4 is going to be 60, and 15 times 6 then is going to be 90. Okay, so let me, I think it's probably times 6, so I'm going to put 6 up there, and then I'm going to use my space over here to do 15 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30, carry the 3, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9. 90. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm done multiplying. 6 times 15 is 90. Subtract it, and I get 0. So my answer is 0.96. Okay, and I can multiply it back up to double check. Number 2. At 306.25 divided by 49. Before I do anything, I'm going to put that decimal point in my answer. Okay, before I go on. Now I'm going to estimate real quick. And I see that 49 is awfully close to 50, and um, 306, so that's, that's pretty close to 300, okay? So what I can do is I can annex those zeros off, or I'm, take those zeros off, it's not really annexing unless you add them back on, and then I have 50 divided by, or 30 divided by 5, which is 6, okay? So my, my first answer is probably going to be 6, okay, my first digit in my answer is going to be 6. Let's give it a try. Or it's going to be 6 or, or really, really close to 6. So let's give 6 a try. I know I can't divide 3 by 49. I can't divide 30 by 49, but I can divide 306 by 49. So 6 times 49. So over here in my space, I'm going to multiply. 6 times 9 is 54. 6 times 4 is uh, 24, plus 5 is 29. Okay, so now I've got, whoops, I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm just writing down random numbers, 294, putting that in the wrong place, aren't I? Now I'm going to subtract, 6 minus 4 is 2, okay, 10, I'm going to borrow, so I can change that, 0 to a 10, 10 minus 9 is 1. Okay, bring down the next digit, and I've got 122. Okay, and remember if I think about that 49 as being really close to 50, it's going to help me estimate my answers really easy. Because 50 plus 50 is, is 100, so it's probably going to be about 2, okay? So 2 times 49. So over here, use my space. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 98. Let's see if that was close enough. Okay, 98. It goes down here. I subtract that. Okay, I'm going to have to borrow, it looks like. 12 minus 8 is 4. I'm going to borrow again. 11 minus 9 is 2. Okay, bring down the next digit. So now I have 245 divided by 49. And remember, I'm, I'm 
think in my mind that's really close to 50. So that's going to be, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe four, maybe five times. I'm going to go ahead and say five. Okay. So now I've got 49 times five. I'm going to raise some space here. Okay. And then I've got 49, and I'm going to multiply it times five. Okay. Five times nine is 45. Carry the four. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. 245. Same number. Alright, so I got to 0, so I'm done, and there's my answer. And to check it, I could multiply it back up. You try the next one and see how you do. Okay, number 3. You do it on your own. 99.9 .9 divided by 3. Pause the video as you try it, and then uh, unpause it and check it. All right, so we've got 99.9 .9 divided by 3. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. 99.09, or $99.09 divided by 3. Remember, before I do anything, I'm going to put decimal point up here. Okay, now if my answer, or um, if my divisor is pretty small, I really don't have to go through the trouble of estimating. I could if I wanted to. Um, but I can tell it's it's going to be pretty easy to, to divide because I've got 9's, which are a multiple of 3. Okay, so I look at the first digit. 9 can be divided by 3, 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Bring down the next 9. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9 again. Bring down the next digit. I've got 0. Now remember, I've got, when I have 0, 3 can't go into 0, so I put a, a 0 up there. 3 times 0 is 0. So I don't have to multiply that. I can just bring down the next digit. Okay, now I've got 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So I'm subtracting. These zeros really don't mean anything, remember? I've got 9 minus 9 is 0. Okay, so there's my answer, 33.03. Put a dollar sign. I've got $33.03. Okay, did you get it? All right, I think that's going to be it for right now. Um, I'm going to give you one more problem, and I'm not going to solve it for you. No, I'm going to give you two more problems. I'm not going to solve it for you. I want you to solve it, and then bring your answers, and we'll see in the morning if you got them right. Okay, here we go. Number 4, 97.5 divided by 6. Write it down real fast. Pause the video. Write it down. Okay, and we're going on to number 5. Number 5. 71.2 divided by 8. All right, you are done. We're going to be done for now. All right, good job. Can't wait to see you tomorrow and talk about um, all you learned about multiplying or dividing with decimals. Talk to you later. Bye.